Hey everybody and welcome back to Ziva Styles. Okay, y'all, I just got back from Walmart and I did buy like a bunch of their little DIY things that you would buy for kids. Because let me tell y'all, okay, so my kids love crafts and I hi bugs. And I bought like a bunch of them for uh, my kids, my girls for Christmas. You guys, they did them without me. Like I went to sleep, I woke up. Everything was done. It was done without me. I was like, what the freak? You guys just couldn't wait. But anyways, okay, so I know many of you are familiar with this, you guys. Like, I did this when I was a kid. I remember this very well. Um, my mama had a bunch of little pot holders made from yours truly. Uh, but my daughter said that she was going to go ahead and make um, a phone case out of it. I'm actually curious i want to make some uh headbands out of this um i think this would be great so this is pretty much all that you get in the pack i believe this was uh five dollars i want to say yeah okay sir sir okay so for five dollars uh you get the actual weaving loom you get the little uh needle thing and you get all of these um nice colors and then i bought uh two refills you guys i actually thought these were like the lumen bands no these are not i mean the this i was actually looking for more of these walmart did not have any i, I bought the last one that they had okay so here is more colors in this one we have black yeah. Um, and blue and a dark blue. Let's see what colors we get in this one. Um, okay, we get like a darker orange and like a real yellow and a real green. Okay, so each one of these come with um, how many does this have? I think it, each one has like 160 little loops. Okay, so we're gonna go ahead and get started. All right, you guys, you guys know I never read, like, instructions. Like, I just do not read it. But, y'all, I had to read this one because, of course, we all know how to do the pot holder. But I've never done a headband. And right here, guess what? It says a headband. So, this may be the first time ever that I, I take and read some god darn instructions. Take one loop, place it on your pointer finger. They tell you to do this on my hands? I don't want to do it on my hands. Okay, well, to start with, I'm just going to go ahead and do the famous pot holder, you guys, and show you guys. So, I'm just going to use some other colors to make with this pot holder, okay? So, let's go ahead and get started with the pot holder. Okay, so we're going to be using green and orange, and I got blue for my outline. Sorry, I deemed these two as the other colors, but I did. So, right now, I'm just placing the green across you guys just brought back so many memories from when I used to sit in my room and do crafts okay so now what we want to do is we want to go uh, the opposite direction but we're going to do it with the, the orange and this is where you're going to need it. Well, you could use this or you could do it with your fingers. But you're going to go, you know, under and over, under and over. Each, each one of these. And then we're going to pull this through. All right, you guys. Because I want the blue to be on the outer edge, I'm actually going to start with the blue one first. And what you want to do is you want to go over on the first one. Under, over under over under over and just gonna keep repeating this pretty much until you get to the end okay then when you do that you can go ahead and you can hook it Turn it and then just pull it on through. Ah! 
You're supposed to hold on to it. Unlike what the heck I just did. So now I got to do it with my gosh darn fingers. Okay. Goodness, this is confusing not doing it with your goddamn fingers. Okay. Okay, so that's what it should look like. Now I'm going to go ahead and do the same, except for this time, instead of going over, I'm going to be going um, under. You guys, and I got to make sure that I hold my goddamn string this time, because that was for the birds. Now I'm going to make sure I hold this. Matter of fact, I'm going to go ahead and hook it. Can you come through? Jesus. Okay. And then we're just going to keep doing that all the way through. All right, so as you guys can see, we are all done here with our pie holder. Um, or I'm going to stop calling the pie holder because you can actually use these to do like quilts. If you, uh, you know, like sew them or stitch them together, you can make pretty quilts out of these. Okay, so you can actually start looping it anywhere you like, but just know where you loop it. It's also going to be your knot. So that's where your knot's going to be. So I'm going to do it in the corner. Actually, no, I'm not. I'm going to pick up my needle first. Okay, so what you want to do is you want to go ahead and go in the middle of one of these. Go ahead and take it off. The little, Jesus, take it off. Okay, now that it's off, you go through the middle of the next one and put that one on. And then you put your first one that we did, which is the blue one, and you unhook it onto the the green one now we're going to do it again we're going to slide this green one on slide this green one off and we're just going to keep going through the whole thing slide this green one on and slide that one off move this back here slide this green one on slide that green one off and as you see um it's starting to crochet it together that's the best way I can think to say it. Um, slide this one on. Slide this one off. Me, I'm not good with a hook. Some people can just do this just with the hook and be zooming. Nope, I don't got skills like that. I'm not even going to lie. I don't got skills like that. I'm doing it like this. Like a little kid. So we're going to slide it on. Slide it off. Slide it on. Slide it off, and you're just going to keep doing this all the way around. So I'm going to go ahead and speed it up and keep going.
Okay, so I'm pretty much done. I've got to hook it through one more. Hook it through. Take that over. And that is pretty much um, what we got. But of course, we want to secure this. So, I'm going to take it. I'm trying to make sure y'all can see what I'm doing. I'm going to take this through here. Take it through here. Hook this through and just pull it a little bit. Then I'm going to pull that and that's, well, I guess it did knot it. And that's pretty much all we do. So you now have your uh your pot holder. Hey, hey there, everybody. Yeah. They're they're over here. Uh, this is the camera right here, right here. Hey everybody, we made your stairs. <laughs> we are yeah, we already made that. Okay, yeah. so I'm gonna go ahead and attempt to do this headband by reading the instructions. Yeah. Um look at this instruction. Look at what? And I'm gonna do a Valentine's uh theme one, so I'm gonna use uh some pink, pink, white, and I think some purple. Purple. Okay, so the instruction hey, sir, sir, sir. So the instructions say to take one, place it on your pointer finger, twist it, place it on your middle finger, twist it, place it on your ring finger, twist it, and place it on your pinky. To where it now looks like that and then the second step is to repeat this step again with another loop yeah, so i'm going to put it on this finger my pointer finger twist yeah, middle I finger paper. I just buns. Mm -hmm. middle finger twist ring finger twist pinky finger okay now it says take the first loop that we did and pull it over the second loop yeah. Pulling it completely off your finger and repeat this with all the fingers. Yeah. Keep it on So this is what it'll look like. And then it says keep repeating this um, 2 to 16 more times. Ooh, good lord. Yeah. All right, you guys. I'm going to do this and I'll be back. All right, you guys, so this is what I got. Uh, this is all that I did. And now I'm trying to close it off. And you guys, this is just not making any sense. So I'm going to take the pointer, take it over my middle finger, take the, you know, take that one up, put this over, take that one off, take this one over, take this one off pretty much where we have um this and then of course you're gonna bring it over here and then you can tie it off tie it together I guess I don't know this is my first time doing the headband okay and then let's see if we can hide this actually Actually, you know what? No. I'm going to go ahead and cut these off right here. I got freaking hair bows that I can put right here in this place to hide this. I don't got to do all this. Boy, bye. Okay. Let's see. I got this. Um, okay. So, I guess what you could do 
is if you got bows or hair bows, you can just go ahead and put these things on your headband. And look at that. Super cute. I actually like the headband idea. I think I'm going to do a bunch of these. All right. So that concludes the video. If you guys have any questions at all, please feel free to ask. You guys, I really like doing these because, you know, even though it teaches you, you know, like little things like this, I feel like I told my husband, I feel like this is just a gateway into doing, you know, like bigger and better projects. Um, it's a tool, you know, it's a tool. So if you have any, you guys, I really do love this. And I can put like my little bows on it. You guys, I did a bunch of bows for like um, Valentine's Day. You guys, look at that. Super cute. I even did some um like some little ears. Look at that. Okay. Um yeah, so put some bows on it. I love it and it's so thick and it's like crochet and I love crochet, you guys. Like there's a soft spot in my heart for some crochet. Call me old. I love crochet. Um so yeah, if you guys have any questions at all, please feel free to ask and I'll see you guys very soon. Bye.